Good evening, tonight we're going to have a very quick, and I stress very quick because it is very boring, uh, look at uh, 13 amp fuses, in particular this little one uh, down on the unit below us. So the story is, I recently purchased a, a spousal repair appliance and it came with a power cable. And this power cable was just your standard, uh, what we call figure of eight lead, to used in a lot of radios and small stereos. And the plug attached to it was obviously one that was attached to it originally, which was this standard white plug, hard body. Uh, and we know it's an old one because it has no plastic sleeving on the live neutral pins there. It's got very little markings on it. It's obviously got fused on the back. It's got live neutral, what looks like a part number, 230 volt, 13 amp, and a maker's mark MS, which looks a little bit like the MG logo. Uh, the interesting thing about this is that it doesn't have a BS1363 written on it, which uh, any plug should have, uh, should it comply to bs 136 which of course all 13 amp plugs have to. Um, so it's either, we know it's old, and it was probably non-compliant even at the time, because this looks like it dates from maybe the 70s to me, it's not as old as some of them, and ones that predated that did have a British Standard stamp on a lot of them, so probably very cheap maybe maybe sort of Hong Kong sort of area uh, and inside it it had been incorrectly wired well been correctly wired albeit badly with um, what I assume to be its original fuse in uh, as you can see I've just neatened it up a little bit and put a 3 amp fuse in it to demonstrate how it should be done uh, however the plug itself is fairly substandard it's got a very flimsy very flimsy paper cord grip uh, compared to the better ones of the era that had a thick paper cord grip. These screws have got like a dome a dome head on them which aren't very nice to work with. Uh, and also underneath the centre screw here actually protrudes even when it's done up fully, uh, maybe about a millimetre which would actually stop this from being completely fully inserted into a socket. So it's a bad plug and I'm going to get rid of it, uh, it was just for demonstration. So what sparked my interest was the fuse that was in it. It was uh, clearly the original 13 amp fuse. It should have been downgraded to a 3 amp fuse, looking at the size of this cable. And I'll try and get some focus on that now so you can really see exactly what we're dealing with. Okay, so as we can see, it's marked 13, 250V, and that's it. There's no BS1362 mark on it. There's no ASTA certification. So basically it's completely non-compliant and much like the plug, it was probably very non-compliant at the time. Uh, I've seen other non-compliant fuses of this era and they are slightly better made than this. Uh, in particular, they don't have the fuse wire sticking out. Now you can probably just see in this camera, small bit of fuse wire there, small bit of fuse wire there. It's just bulged under the caps. Um, some older fuses I've seen this on, although generally I see it on fake ones, which leads me to believe that this whole contraption probably came from the Far East, uh, even back then in the 1970s. So all fuses should, of course, have this fuse wire internally soldered in the middle of each pin, end cap even, and strung straight across the middle, suspended in sand. And this clearly isn't, this is clearly just wrapped under, wrapped under, and it's probably going to fall apart. So let's have a look. The reason we have sand in them is um, we can read up on that elsewhere, but they should have sand in them. I bet this doesn't. <sighs> Giving it a bit of a pull. Yep, one end cap's just fallen off, which obviously they shouldn't do. And inside we've got no, no sand that I can see. Nope. And let's try and get the other end of that off. <laughs> Actually just snapped it. But that's fine because that really does allow us to see. I'm going to switch over to a manual focus now. really does allow us to see that it is literally just a piece of wire thrown through the centre. There we go. 
it's nothing, it's useless. That just folds around, folds under. And that actually really deeply affects the characteristics of the fuse and would probably stop it blowing at its rated 13 amp current. Uh, they always blow a little bit over anyway, but uh, the fact that it's touching the sides would absorb some of the heat that builds up in the wire and would stop it working as effectively as it should. Um, so that's it, it's something to watch out for. These types of things are still uh, coming over in counterfeit goods. Uh, this one itself is quite aged, but something to watch out for. You can read up for this further, um, back this further on other websites and videos. But uh, I hope that was a little, little insight for you. So until next time, I'll hopefully have something more interesting for you.